Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create multiple disk partitions in a Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC. Here, as you can see, my C drive is currently a single unit, so it's just one partition. With this, all my files and data are stored in this single unit. Now, there's nothing wrong in having it this way. Everything would work fine. However, if you want to have your data a bit more organized and easier to access, maybe you are dealing with lots of data, then you may want to create multiple disk partitions according to your needs. This also helps in situations where you want to run multiple operating systems through some kind of dual booting, data protection situation through encryption, so you can just encrypt important partitions instead of encrypting the whole drive. Also in file sharing or cloud backups, you can share or backup only intended partitions. Now the steps in this process is basically the same for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'll be demonstrating this on a Windows 11 PC. I will also show you how to undo this process in case you want to reverse it for any reasons. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here we need to open the disk management utility. There are various ways to get to it. A quick way would be to go to your search bar and type create and format. And then you should see this create and format disk partitions from the search results. Just click on it. Now, if you don't see this in your search result, then open your file explorer. Right click on this PC. Show more options. And select manage now for Windows 10 you just right click and select manage here under storage click on disk management and that should open up the disk management utility here the C drive is automatically selected and down here you have these three sections system reserved C and recovery partition here we are interested in creating a partition on the C drive so select the C drive right click and then select shrink volume and wait for the process to complete. Once the querying process is done, a dialog box like this should pop up. Here it tells you the overall size of your disk and the size available to make your partitions from. Here mine is about 65 gig. Now in general, it's recommended to have a reasonable amount of free space on your drive before creating a new partition. This could vary depending on the size of your drive and your usage patterns. But a common guideline is to maintain at least 20% free space on your drive. Now if your free space is less than 10%, meaning your drive is in red, then Windows would likely not allow you to create a new partition on the drive. Now below that, you have a field where you can enter the amount of space you want on your new partition. Obviously, this has to be below the available space. So here I'll be making a 30 gig partition. You can put whatever suits your case here. Now, if you are considering installing an operating system on the new partition, then you should check the disk requirements and ensure you make a partition with at least 1.5 times the required disk space to avoid disk limitations on your new OS. Here for a 30 gig partition, I will input 30,000 in this field. Click on shrink and wait for the process to complete. Afterwards, you should have a new partition labeled unallocated. Now to be able to use this new partition within Windows, we need to first format it. And to do that, simply right click on it and select new simple volume. The new simple volume wizard would pop up. Here click on next. Leave the default sizes and click on next. Here you can choose any device letter you want. I will leave the default letter as D and click next. Then here it asks for the file system you want to format the partition with. I will go with the default NTFS. You can change this to FAT32 if you are sure that is what you need for your use case. Otherwise, just leave it as NTFS and click Next. Here it shows you a summary of your selections. If everything looks OK, click Finish to complete the process. Afterwards, you should now be able to see your new partition in your file explorer and from there you can use it however you choose to. Finally, let's see how to undo this process in case you want to reverse it for any reasons. First, go back to the disk management utility. Here, I want to delete the partition I just made as a D partition. 
I will simply right click on it and select delete volume. Here it wants you that deleting the volume will erase all data stored in it. So you should back up your important data before deleting a volume. Here I have nothing to back up so I will hit yes to continue. Afterwards it should now say free space. Now you need to right click on the partition once again and then select delete partition. It wants you once again, nothing to save, so I hit yes to complete the process. And that should delete the partition. Afterwards, you should now have the partition as unallocated. So to make it usable again and merge it back to the C drive, I will right click on the C drive and select extend volume. Click on next. It will automatically detect and select the unallocated volume, which is the volume I want to merge back to the C drive. If yours is not selected automatically, simply select it and click on next. Then finish to complete the process. And now you should have your C drive extended back as it was before when you refresh your file explorer. And with that, we have deleted the partition and merged it back to the C drive. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.